Hello everyone, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Shanghai Maglev Trans Rapid Train. So this is a Maglev train that operates in Shanghai, China, connecting it to Shanghai Pudong International Airport. And it is a Maglev, so what a Maglev is exactly is a train that uses magnets to levitate and move the train. So there is no friction between the tracks and the train because this train literally floats above the track, apparently. And this is the fastest commercial electric train in the world with a top speed of 268 miles per hour. So maglevs are pretty fast. And the Shanghai maglev, this is the only operating high-speed maglev. The other maglevs in commercial service, uh, they are kind of like lower speed than this one. Uh, there is one train in Japan that they're testing out, but that won't be out for many years down the line, maybe like 2040s, I guess. But the technology for this comes from Germany. It's built by a joint venture between Siemens and Dyson Krupp. So it is German technology in China. And it's a commission by Victor yet again. So thanks to him for making this video possible. And uh, let's begin on this tutorial. So for the train itself, um, just like we're using this special type of track since it's not like really a normal train it uses magnets. So this is what the track looks like. There is a smooth a sandstone block, polished right stairs, and then polished andesite block, and then repeats itself on the other side. So for the actual train itself, uh, basically um, there is these two end cars at the end, and then three cars in the middle. And per side, they're going to be pretty much the same. So on this side, there's going to be like these stone buns here. It's going to say a number in real life. And uh, while the other side, it does not include that detail. And uh, this side, it also has flipped uh, intermediate cars. So you see on this side, there's like three on this side and then four on this side. So we go on this side, it's three on this side, four on this side. So that kind of like rotates around um, the other direction. But other than that, that is pretty symmetrical. Um, but yeah, let's get started on the tutorial. So the end cars, they're going to be 41 blocks along for this gangway here. And then the intermediate cars are 37 blocks long, just in case anyone needs that information. Anyways, let's grab some materials, take out smooth quartz uh, stairs, slab, light blue concrete, acacia stairs, slab, smooth quartz block, uh, gray concrete, black stained glass block, um, I guess a black concrete, that's all we can fit for right now. So we got the track down here. And uh, we're going to add in smooth quartz slab in the middle. Smooth quartz stairs to the side of that. Light blue concrete right behind here. Then we'll add in to the side uh, acacia stairs. And then three acacia slabs. Then we'll add in smooth quartz block inside here. Acacia slab sticking out. And then we'll add in light blue concrete right behind these acacia slabs. And then we'll go up here and add in light blue concrete. That. And we're going to make this light blue concrete so it is 36 blocks long. So I'm going to use world edit just to save us some time. Then we'll add in an acacia slab right here. And then we're going to extend this acacia slab so it goes all the way across along this line uh, to the back. So again, using world at it. There we go. And then after we do that, we'll add in smooth quartz block underneath here. And this is going to extend all the way across to the back as well. Smooth quartz block. All right, so next we'll go off back to the front area. And then we'll add in smooth quartz slab in the middle, two blocks like this. Smooth quartz stairs on top of that acacia stairs. And then we'll add a smooth quartz slab here and smooth quartz block in between that and the front. Then we'll add in a smooth quartz slab, top of this, two blocks long here. And the front will add in a smooth stone slab. It's going to be a numbering or lettering. And then we'll add in smooth quartz block here. Smooth quartz stairs facing outwards. And another one on top of this. 
add in an upside down one here and then a slot behind it. And then next in the front, we'll add in two blocks wide, gray concrete. And then we'll go diagonally back, add in um, black stone brick slab. Then two diagonal black glass and black stone brick walls to add diagonal like that. All right, so then the behind this, we'll add in black concrete. Kind of everything here. And fill it up on the side as well like that. Add in black concrete up here. Great. All right, so next we'll take out a dark oak trap door. And we'll add in two blocks wide on top of this window here. Then we'll add uh, two blocks wide smooth quartz slab. Then we'll add in two smooth quartz slabs here, two smooth quartz stairs, and then two smooth quartz blocks. And then we'll add in another two smooth quartz blocks and smooth quartz stairs to the side of it. Then for this bottom area, we'll add in smooth quartz, two blocks tall here, skip a block, add another two. Then we'll add in two blocks tall black concrete inside, smooth quartz slab at the bottom, and smooth quartz stairs on top like that. And the inside of this is going to be another brick wall like that. All right, great so far. Then we'll go to the back and we'll add two blocks tall black concrete and two of these smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz stairs on top. And then two smooth quartz, actually, is it? Yeah, two smooth quartz blocks towards the middle here. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz slab here, two black concretes inside, another brick wall here, and then two smooth quartz on top. Smooth quartz stairs on the roof and smooth quartz block inside the middle uh, like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do we're going to add in a smooth quartz slab down over here. And then smooth quartz block, two blocks here, and then the stairs. And we're going to ex extend this section over here all the way to the front area. So yeah, we're just going to pretty much stack it however much it takes. Two more like that so it reaches the front all right so next up we'll fill in the roof over here smooth quartz and we'll add in this little antenna or fin on top and that diorite wall is going to line up with this door here and then we'll add in a white glass pane in the front of that then we'll go and add in a black concrete here and then we'll also need uh, these three black glass. So one, two, three, black concrete, three glass. Again, black concrete, three glass, and then two black concretes. And then there will be this black stone brick block. It's gonna be like a little vent, then black concrete, and then three black glass, black concrete, three glass, Black concrete, three glass, and black concrete. So it ends like that. So these are gonna be the windows. So for each of these windows, uh, we're gonna add in gray concrete inside it. This all the way across for each window that we have. Uh, then we'll add in uh, black glass blocks, three blocks here. And then gray concrete inside that as well. So that's gonna go for each of the windows so that there is a second layer at the bottom. A bit tedious to do, but we'll do it anyways, because this the rest of the train is pretty simple, I think. All right, so after we're done with that, we'll add in a black concrete, filling the rest of these gaps in before and after these windows. All right, so it should look like this so far. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add in um, this little, I guess a logo. So that's gonna be warp button and smooth quartz. So we're gonna line up 
uh, with this uh, middle section of the black concrete and where the glass they meet. Just delete these two slabs here and add in smooth quartz and a warp button to the sides of it so that's two blocks wide. And we're also going to add in some of these vents underneath the windows so there's going to be three of them. So the first one is the last part of the first window. Just add in smooth quartz and polish black stone brick slab. All right, the next one is going to be the second, the middle window here in the back, the first part of it. Smooth quartz slab, and then the last one is going to be the middle of the last window. So let's add it like that. So it should look like this. All right, good so far. Then we'll add in the gangway, which is actually pretty simple. We're just going to use blackstone brick and blackstone brick stairs and slab. So the top part is two blackstone brick, blackstone brick stairs here, then blackstone brick is three blocks like that, and blackstone brick slabs, three blocks to the middle like that. All right, so after we have done all of that, uh, basically what we're going to do for this, we're going to copy what we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves of them, we're going to go on this side and we'll add in a stone button side of this black concrete. And that's basically the only difference between <laughs> these two sides. So after we're done with that, we're going to work on the next car, the intermediate car. So um, we're going to take out Smooth quartz block, uh, stairs, uh, black concrete, uh, light blue concrete, acacia slab. So we'll start off right over here again. Smooth quartz, acacia slab with a light blue concrete behind it. Then um, black concrete, two blocks tall up here. And then uh, smooth quartz stairs. So they're going to be facing towards the gangway. Like that smooth quartz stairs on top and then two smooth quartz uh, blocks on top of the roof all right so once we have this we're going to add in two black concretes here another brick wall here a uh, smooth quartz slab underneath that wall um smooth quartz stairs uh, let's make it two blocks long like that two smooth quartz blocks underneath extend the light blue concrete and the acacia and the bottom smooth quartz as well as the roof fill that in smooth quartz block like that all right so um as i said before in the start of the video this car is 37 blocks long so we we'll extend this roof area so it is so it is 37 blocks long so once we have that what we're going to do uh, we're going to copy what we did on this side and build it on the other side just in the other direction. So again, I'm using world edit to uh, expedite the process. But it is pretty symmetrical in this aspect. So I don't want to like have to redo it again. All right, so once we have the other half, it should look like this. Now we're going to connect the two halves together. Um, so that's going to be a smooth quartz slab here. Extend the light blue concrete, acacia slab, and the smooth quartz. So once we have that, uh, we're gonna extend this section over here till it goes to the other side. So I don't know how many blocks it is exactly. Let's try this. Okay, it's a bit more. All right. So once we reach the other side, it should look like this. All right, so after we're done with that, we'll add in, I guess the detail while you're here at the window. So it's gonna be black concrete, and then we'll take out black glass, three blocks long. Black concrete, three glass. Black concrete, three glass. And then black concrete, three glass. Then black concrete, black stone brick block. And black concrete, three black glass. Black concrete, three glass. Black concrete, three glass. And it should end in a black concrete. Once we're done with that, we'll add in, I guess, black glass. 
directly down from all these windows. All the way across. And then we'll add in black concrete in between for the pillars. And fill in the middle part of that. Just fill that in black concrete. And now we're going to add in this uh, blacked out windows or <laughs> grayed out windows in this case. Just a gray concrete behind each of the windows. And maybe you don't even want to fill this in for some reason. You don't have to. You can leave it hollow. But I think it looks better if we just have it like this. Because we don't really have an interior for this build. Plus it will be really tight to make an interior. Only have like one block of space. Alright, so after we've done that, we're going to make that logo in the center. So it's going to be uh, where the black concrete meets this window. Just add in two smooth quartz blocks like that. And we'll add in a pair of warp buttons on the sides of that. All right, and then we'll also need to add in these like tiny vents at the bottom. So it's going to be where these four windows are. Gonna line up right around here. So I guess this part of the second window, just add in a smooth quartz block and that polished blackstone brick slab. Then we go to this middle window on the other side, go to this half of it, and do the same thing with the vent here. All right, so it should look like this. And that's it for this side. So the other side. The way you're going to build it is you're going to have to uh, like rotate it. So it's going to be the same thing. It's just like rotate the other direction. So I will build it. Or actually, I will world edit this. So copy this. And I'm going to rotate this guy. So I'm going to copy it here. Rotate 180 degrees. And I'm going to build it right here. So it should be like this. So you see on this side, it's going to be three windows and the four windows. On the other side, three windows, four windows. It should look like this. All right, so once we have that, uh, pretty much you're going to add in uh, two more of these cars. So just build them the same exact way. You don't have to change the direction. And in the back, it's the same as the uh, other end car. It's just like this car, it has the stone button on this side, the other side. It should not like this whole entire side has no stone buns. Uh, but yeah, that's actually uh, pretty much it for the Shanghai Maglev in Minecraft. Thanks to Victor for commissioning this video and making this video possible. If you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.